Hello Aquarius, let's do your reading. Let's find out messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Loneliness. They've been feeling so lonely, they crave your attention. Hopefully, it's not out of convenience. Wow. You have someone who might have called you, somebody you know from the past may have called you, or somebody you knew um, is um, thinking about reaching out to you because they're craving your attention, Aquarius. It's not more of, um, I don't know, it's more about, I don't want to say they're selfish, but it's more about them. You know, they're feeling um, lonely, wanting to feel the void, and um, they will reach out to you. Yeah. They crave your attention. <laughs> you might be the person who was a very good lis listener to this person in the past. Right? Twin flame. If there was any doubt... They are your twin flame, and they're ready for union. Wow. Could also be that somebody would be is reaching out because, you know, that type of energy. You have been in and out of each other's lives, and it's it seems like it's pretty hard to let go of each other. Yeah, It is because this person is your twin flame. One more. Nothing else to do. There's nothing you could have done differently. Challenges teach you everything is as it should be. Yeah. That message, Aquarius, is helping you to see things clearly. Nothing else to do, especially if you were in a relationship or connection with someone whereby you have been in and out of each other's lives and the more you continue doing so, yes, you can say it's twin flames. It's like that. It's really hard to let go of each other. We have to learn through this experience every time we meet up or every time we um, get together once again. But this message is saying that beyond all those understanding of twin flames and unable to let go type of situation, Whatever you have done in your prior relationships, there is nothing else you could have done differently. Yeah, and perhaps if it's been like continuous in and out, a possibility of it becoming more toxic is there, right? So this message is, is helping you see things clearly right now and stop thinking, I mean, stop, the possibility of having uh, toxicity in your life. A message of saying that maybe it's time to let go. Even though, yeah, even though you're saying that the twin flame, it's twin flame, it's hard to let go and things like that. This is where free will of a person comes in play. But for some of you, I am getting that you already know that. Yeah, if this person has reached out, could be that um, they're wanting to reconnect, to be friends, and things like that. You may have um, put a stop to it. I'm not saying that you were bad. I, I believe you could be kind enough to like, respond and then tell them that, hey, this is where it ends. Or, you know, have a good life. Because you're somehow learning to move on. Th th that's what I'm getting here. All right, let's see. Let's check your tarot. All right, we have the Five of Pentacles. Their current feelings is the Five of Pentacles. This is someone who probably has no love life right now. Or they don't have anybody in their life that they can, um, that they're with. Yeah, Five of Wands. And somebody who has been bombarded with a lot of things around them. It could be business with work, uh, responsibilities with family, and they're just very busy. That they couldn't, um, perhaps prioritization in their life is not of priority right now. Yeah. So current feelings, five of pentacles. They feel like you are not um, invested. Probably you have forgotten them or you have moved on. Yeah. 
Have you told this person that you have moved on? Because this is exactly what the feeling that they have right now. Yeah, two of Swords and the Ace of Cups. When they contacted you, it's likely that they wanted to be friends. They wanted to be nice to each other, just like old times. But what they're not telling you is that they reach out because of how they feel. So you might think, yeah, they just crave for attention. But on top of that, Aquarius, I feel like this person do have um, feelings, yeah, true feelings towards you. And they may not say it, but they want that Ace of Cups with you. They want that Ace of Cups. They want to offer love, apologies perhaps. Yeah. They wanted that. And they are... Wow. For those of you who are in a twin flame type of situation, if this person reaches out, it is because they are ready. You know, this message is also precise. So the wait is over. Yeah. They're ready for union. They're ready for reconciliation. And this could be why they are ready to offer love at this point. They have really thought about it. Um, things that they needed to do in the past when they were not able to commit to you because they were busy with something else. You know, this and that. They have already attended to those. And now they are ready for union. This is a person who is your twin flame at the same time, your soulmate too. And they're acting on it. So if they have reached out to you, it is because it, it is the time for them to reach out. They are ready. Their next action is the Eight of Cups. Walking away. Walking away because it looks like um, there was no chance for both of you to reconnect. There was no chance to get together. Perhaps one of you here is already in a committed relationship. Looks like somebody here is already with kids or with someone else. So they had no other choice but to walk away. But this is your twin flame. This is your soulmate that um, is now ready. But then when they come back, it's likely that you aren't available anymore. And they feel, you know, they wanted reconciliation, tree of pentacles. But it looks like whatever they dreamt about has just um, fallen into pieces, right? I'm using a different deck right now, which gives me different um, types of messages, which is also good. And it's interesting. So let's continue. I get the feeling that you have um, stop press the stop button with this person and their intention is the star seven of swords yeah it's more like they had to walk away because they don't have any other choice the intention is the star is that means that their intention is to go back to where their heart belongs to to the person that they are meant to be but again like i said you know in any union in this lifetime two souls have to be ready and most often if you're in a twin flame type of situation you meet your souls meet here um and then there are a lot of um you know things that needs to be things that need to be ironed out before you can truly be in union right and every time you meet it seems like the other party is still not ready and this time it's it looks like they are ready and you are already with ready with something else too ready with something else for this person their intention is to go back to where their heart belongs is to go back where their soul belongs to and they just had they had to walk away because it looks like somebody here has made a decision you know, has made a decision has put the two of swords down has made a decision with something else or someone else. They are ready, but the other party may not be ready for them now. Yeah, and it's <laughs> getting the hell out of this person. They cannot sleep. They're thinking about it. So, yeah, even if they have walked away, 
this situation with you is still very much in this person's mind. All right, I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.